Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From July 4th through August 26th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a set of all four Commander 2019 decks. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and today is July 8th, 2019. We have a Magic the Gathering banned and restricted update to go over. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. We'll begin with the modern update. One card was banned. That card is Bridge from Below. Now, the banning will go into effect in paper on July 12th. Magic the Gathering Online, it will actually happen this afternoon after the update. Now, the reason Wizards gave for this banning was the Hogak Bridgevine deck, which had a very high win percentage initially on Magic Online, over 60%, they said. So they tried to find a card that wouldn't necessarily take the deck completely out of modern, but would make it a little less explosive and couldn't pull off maybe really early turn combos as easily. Of course, Hogak and Altar of Dementia, the other two key cards in that deck, are still legal. But without Bridge from Below, Altar of Dementia does become a lot worse. We also have an update to Commander, and that does not happen very often, so let's see what's going on. First card that was banned, Iona, Shield of Ameria. Now, this is kind of interesting. People have been talking about this card for many years. Should it be banned? Should it not be banned? And the argument for it being banned is this can basically close a player out of a game, and that's no fun. The argument to keep it around was, well, it's expensive. However, do people actually pay 9 for this, or are you going to cheat it into play typically, right? Ultimately, that was their logic for the banning. They just finally said that they didn't feel this card was a good experience because it has the potential to lock a player out of the game. Paradox Engine is banned. Okay, so this is another card that a lot of people kind of thought would be banned like after it came out initially, and now it's happened. Basically, the reason that was given was this is just a very explosive combo enabler, fits into any deck, not very expensive for what it can do, so in theory, without this card, it could make some games a little more balanced, and that's why they banned it. They also unbanned a card, though, Painter Servant. The reason they gave was they feel at this point there's more fun interactions as opposed to just dangerous ones with this card, so they let it loose. We'll have to see what happens with it going forward. This also is potentially a card now that could be going up in value very quickly. With that being said, that is your update. The next update will be August 26, 2019. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these changes, but until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.